Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing PPE's heavy duty deep Allison transmission pan. PPE's deep transmission pan for the Allison transmissions is a really, really nice product. So let's talk about some of the features of the pan. First off, the pan itself, you can get it in three different finishes. You can get this in just a raw finish or a brushed aluminum finish or a solid black finish. Now, this is an aluminum alloy pan, so that helps to uh, cool the fluid and, and increase the cooling capacity of the pan itself. The pan comes with, obviously the pan, it comes with the extra deep Allison filter that you will be, you will have to use when you change your filter again, you will have to use the extra deep filter on this. It also comes with a new hardware pack, Allen headed hardware uh, with washers, stainless steel stuff, all good hardware. Why use the PPE deep transmission pan? The PPE transmission pan is gonna hold an extra four quarts of fluid for you, so that's gonna increase the cooling capacity. It's got one inch internal fins, and it's got three quarter inch external fins. Those will help to increase the cooling capacity and it will decrease your operating te temperature, PPE claims, up to 40 degrees. The drain plug on this thing is a one inch drain plug, so you've got really, really quick drains. It has got a, uh, it has got a high powered magnet on it for catching debris and keeping your fluid clean. The pan itself, PPE, what they do is they go in here and they add an extra couple of fins. This actually serves as your filter lock for the extra deep filter. So that's a really, really nice feature of this pan. It's gonna include those install hardware. Like I said, it's gonna include the filter. There are two ports on here, a 1 8 uh, MPT port and a quarter inch MPT port for any temperature bungs that you wanna install. So it co PPE covers both bases with that. The external of the filter has got fins on it. These fins, this just goes to make the, more, the pan more rigid and just make it an overall tougher pan. PPE really does a good job with their cast aluminum stuff, with their differential covers and their transmission covers. Uh, we've already got a PPE diff cover on this truck, so we stayed in theme here. We're gonna stay with PPE and go with our transmission pan. Also, what we're doing with this truck, this is our 100,000 mile service for our transmission. So we're kind of going to be going over uh, some of the parts of that that goes on for a 100,000 mile transmission service for your Allison transmission. So let's get started with our install. So what we're doing today to this truck, not only are we installing our deep transmission pan from PPE, but it's also time for our 100,000 mile service on our Allison transmission. This is our, uh, this is our show truck. This is a truck that we do all of our traveling with, pull our, our show trailer with, so on. Uh, Adam and I have been in this truck since it was brand new. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do the 100,000 mile service on this truck because we're gonna get ready to roll over right now. So your 100,000 mile service on your Allison transmission will include doing the internal filter on the transmission. Uh, for us, it also aligns with doing the external filter. The external filter, we usually do it every other oil, fil oil change. So every 10,000 miles, we change the external. We've already done that. That's in a separate video. Jim's gonna link you to that. But now we're, gonna, we're going after the internal filter. Good time to go ahead and do a deep transmission pan on this truck, you know, just to increase the cooling capacity of it. Uh, don't think that you should wait until 100,000 miles to do a, a deep transmission pan. Do one right out of the gate. They're really, really good. It's a nice addition to the truck. Uh, it just so happens we haven't done one on this truck yet, and that's what we're going to do today. So, step one is you've got to drain your you've got to drain your fluid. The nice thing about Allison is it's already got a drain plug on it here. So we're going to go ahead and let the let the fluid drain. Once we've drained our drained our pan, it's time to go ahead and take the pan down. These are 13 metrics on the stock bolts. Just go ahead and pull them on out. I'd leave two in here for the pan to hang on. All right, when you go to take your trans pan down the Allison's, the Allison gasket is a reusable gasket, so it's not, it's not, you're not gonna have to go crazy on trying to get your pan down. Should be able to shake it just like that and have it come loose. Leave two bolts in it so it doesn't drop out and fall right in your lap and bend, especially if you're going to be reusing the paint. Okay. 
you're gonna have a little bit of residual fluid that's still gonna be inside the filter. So when you bring it down, just let your fluid drain there some more. And then about that time, your filter's probably gonna fall out and splash all over you, but I'm gonna catch it. It's gonna stop right there. Take your other hand and catch that filter. It probably won't fall out, but just in case it does, in case somebody didn't do the gasket correct. After you get your pan down and you get your filter out, you wanna make sure in this bore that is towards the, fr the front of the valve body. Inside that bore, when you take the filter out, it's going to leave the seal, the O-ring. You've got to get that O-ring out. You've got to get this seal out. If you don't, here's what happens. If you double up and you put, in, and you put another filter in here, what's gonna happen is the filter is gonna sit lower then you put a pan on it, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna crush that filter, uh, cause a restriction, all kinds of other stuff. So be aware of that. Make sure that you get the O-ring out of that bore, out of the filter bore before you put your new filter on. I wanted to put this shot in the video for you guys that are not gonna be changing your pan if you have searched for this video and you're going to do this because you want to know how to change the fuel the pan, uh, change the filter on an house and this is for you guys that are going to be reusing your pan back the gasket on the allisons is reusable okay so you do not have to you do not need to replace the gasket you can totally reuse this gasket so take care pulling it off try not to do something crazy and mess it up because that is totally a reusable gasket this pan, the magnet on the Allison pan is right here. You want to make sure that you get it cleaned off really, really well. Use brake clean to clean the pan out too. Clean it out with brake clean really, really well, flushed out. You want to make sure if you're going to use this pan back that you clean the pan. We're not, so all we needed was this gasket and we're good to go. We've got everything ready to go. We've got our new PPE pan in. I'm just getting a little bit of that trans fluid here and I wanted to put this on my O-ring for the filter. So we're gonna go ahead and install our new filter. And just watch the O-ring as you're going into the bore there. Make sure you don't roll the O-ring. It just goes in there and stops. It'll hang right there while you're getting ready to get your pan. Now I've got my pan fasteners and everything ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my pan up here. I've got my gasket on. I use just a little touch of spray adhesive on my gasket so I don't have to fight it. So I'm go right straight up there. The Allen, the uh, hardware that PPE provides you with is Allen head. It's a metric and I forgot what the number was before I came underneath of here. Take your time not to cross thread this too. I'm just snugging this up is all I'm doing. All right, so I've got a couple of bolts in it now. I'll go ahead and put the rest of my hardware up and then we will torque the pan. All right, now that we've got our pan up, it's time to go ahead and torque down our pan bolts. The pan bolts that PPE provides you with need to be torqued to 15 foot pounds. And uh, I had forgot to tell you what size they were. These are six metric Allen bolts. So six metric Allen, you're gonna wanna torque these down and you wanna tighten it in a crisscross pattern. So I'll go one and then back to two and then three to four and I'll stay on the sides. 
and then we'll go to the front and do five, six, seven, eight. And then the corners, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down and take them to 15 foot-pounds. Finishing steps underneath of the truck. You've got your bolts all torqued down. You've checked everything. A lot of people don't do this. Make sure you do this. This is nothing against PPE or anybody that you buy pans from. Before you start filling fluid, make sure that you check that the drain plug on the pan that you just bought, make sure you check that it's tight. Also, don't forget, go back to the, go back to the temperature uh, plugs, the 1 8 and the 27 uh, plug, make sure they're tight. Nothing's gonna suck worse if you get to start filling fluid, your brand new expensive transmission fluid, it starts running out because one of these was one of these was loose. So checked all these, we're good to go. Top side we go for fill up. All right, we're top side and we're ready to fill up our transmission. So let's talk just a little bit about capacities here for a second. Normally, if you're just dropping your stock pan and you're changing out your internal filter on your house, and you're gonna be looking at about seven, seven and a half cores to fill the truck back up. All right, with the new PPE deep pan on it, we're gonna be looking at about four quarts over normal capacity, so we're gonna be pushing that 11, 11 and a half quarts mark. All right, fluid that you use, you can change fluid if you need to. You can use Allison's Transcend. Um, you can use Genuine Delco, uh, whatever, what's the current, Dextron 6, uh, which is what we're gonna use because I had a couple of cases of it handy here at the shop. Make sure you use the correct fluid first off and make sure you, that you're gonna wash your capacities. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling transmission. I'll show you how I do it. I'm not gonna go ahead and just drop 11 quarts in here. Don't you do it either. All right, because you think that's what it's supposed to have come out of it. I'm gonna put four quarts in here to start with. All right, I use this funnel. You can pick these up. These are really little, little slick. You can get them at any O'Reilly's, AutoZone, or whatever they fit on. Normal size quart neck or a big bottle that uh, goes right on, makes the job a whole lot cleaner than filling with a funnel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop four quarts in this truck and we'll check it. And we'll keep adding fluid to this with the truck not running and checking it until I know that I've got fluid on the dipstick. Then what I'll do, I'll start the truck, I'll let a little bit of fluid cycle, a few seconds, 15, 20 seconds, shut it off, I'll come back out. I'll keep checking it until I've got the correct fluid level in it. Then I'll drive it, let the truck get warmed up, and come back and check it again. That's the most important part. Don't just dump fluid in it, think that you've got it. You wanna make sure that you are putting the right amount of fluid in it, letting the pump cycle on the transmission, letting it pick up the fluid, and then, and then going from there. So that concludes our installation of our PPE transpan. Why do you need a transpan? If you guys are towing, this is a really, really good upgrade for any automatic transmission. It increases your uh, your fluid capacity, there's much easier to drain the fluid on, on with these pans. Uh, the one inch drain plug for the, from the PPE lets the fluid drain out really, really quickly. It's got the bungs in it, the uh, tap ports for your temperature sensor bungs. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of advantages to running a trans pan. So if you have a question about this installation or any of our other uh, installations, if you have a question about PPE products, please give us a call, like and subscribe to our channel. And now we're gonna start the uh, really, really fun task of filling the transmission. Thanks for watching.